This possible No Man's Sky update could be really cool. It's an area of the game that could add a great amount to the gameplay loop, with the extra benefit of that desire to constantly customise, change and switch up. And with enough elements, it could add more creativity and individuality, as well as freighter designs that you can share with other travellers. Freighter customization coming to No Man's Sky would be for me, and maybe you, a fantastic update, game changing, adding an all new gameplay loop, and of course adding a new freighter type and adding more individuality to the game. The customised freighters might have to be smaller than the larger Dreadnought and Sentinel class freighters, closer to the Centrifuge, Enterprise and Galleon class freighters to help with loading and spawning. Of course this will allow more complex freighter module parts, and as most of the freighter module parts are just skins, it shouldn't be too hard for Halo Games to introduce it, and it won't mess with the existing game freighter seeds. And getting all those lovely new freighter modules can be turned into the new gameplay loop by making it a new mission. To get the new freighter type to start the mission, instead of getting it from a random space encounter, visit an anomaly NPC, as this will be less glitchy, possibly a new freighter console to customise your new freighter, as this will reduce the need to redesign the freighter interior even though I would love new freighter interiors. But the main part of the new gameplay loop, the new mission, that can also be expanded upon at future dates, is collecting the different freighter modules from different locations. One being, saving freighters out in the wild will give you different classes of freighter modules. Depending on the class of the freighter that you save will depend on what class of module you get. Beating pirate freighters could also give you the new freighter modules. The better you do, the higher the class. Beating derelict freighters could also give you the new class of freighter modules. Those could be random class drops just to be annoying. Or maybe if you're 100% the derelict freighter or a combination of both. Of course also getting random drops for sending out your frigates and missions, that's also a good one. Of course there's also the Quicksilver missions, a new mission. Or maybe a random drop for doing the pre-existing missions. And of course there's always the Quicksilver items for sale. Those could be the top tier S class freighter module parts or better still, an exotic class. A nice selection of freighter module parts for the living freighter, a sentinel freighter and a pirate freighter. And as the freighter module parts are scaled for rarity, from common easily found up to the S class and of course the exotic drops, when you put all these elements together to make your freighter, it will affect the overall class of your freighter itself. And none of these new parts need to be like any of the existing freighters. And it also helps that there aren't that many freighter types in the game at the moment. So it really is an easy way to add more variety to the freighters themselves. And to add an extra layer to the gameplay loop, the common freighter modules could simply need some basic components, but to install the high class freighter modules and to make it more of an end game thing, these modules would need end game components like stated spices, circuits boards, AI valves and so on. And like I said earlier, because it's a completely new freighter type, it wouldn't affect the pre-existing freighters. Just to add a little bit more fun to the whole thing, these new modules will have different elements. A mixture of storage containers, defences and shielding. The higher class, the better all these things would be. And like the new pirate freighters they've just introduced, with these shields, lasers and rockets, other travellers can attack your freighter to get random drops. Maybe with a higher chance of the frigate module upgrades and freighter expansion units. But with all these new defences, there is a higher chance of them dying if they try. And who doesn't want to be a space pirate from time to time? But I do feel that the hardest part to change would be the flight deck, even though I really would like new interiors. And maybe that's something they could introduce at a later date. But I feel the ship docks would probably remain the same, as these two elements probably require a lot more coding than the actual exteriors. The options are really endless. With all the new freighter module parts being interchangeable, this will lead to some really individual type freighters. And unlike ship customization, this wouldn't affect a major part of the gameplay loop. It could be the compromise that both sides of the player base could agree on. But what do you think? Do you think it's a good idea? Or not? Or better still, is this giving you ideas? If so, comment below. And if you think this is a great idea, share it around a bit. If enough people like it, maybe Halo Games will implement it. I hope you liked the video, and if you did, hit that like and subscribe button, or on the bell thingy. And of course, thank you for watching. See you all later.